YouTube, y'all, what's good with y'all, man? It's Kane Dooms, and you see it in the title, man. You see it in the thumbnail, bro. We got us a 93 strength. Shot created three level threat, bro. <laughs> so, the funny thing about this build, from the games that I've played already, is that it works. Like, I just kept saying to myself before making this, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna be so mad. I, I ain't gonna be mad, but I'm like, it's just the direction that 2K is going in, and this is this is it of you having strength to your build kudos to 2k for making strength like a factor but for it to be like this on a 6-3 guard build well only 270 17 pounds to get 93 strength for legend strong handle that's the crazy part about it so this right here is the build this is what i just made i get trey on layup package real good driving nuck i get quick drops with the 60 vertical I still get the 99 three ball, uh, all legend shooting badges. I get that. Pass accuracy, I did sacrifice, which was crazy because that's another topic. But pass accuracy to me only matters if you go for bailout or legend diamond, or you want to just troll and have like a high bailout. But it, it did come to mind with a certain build that I want to make next. So it has to do with pass accuracy and driving layup. Uh, ball handle, the plus one that you got for this season, for season two. That plus one went to ball handle for Steve Francis. Speed with ball, you're going to see 91 on a lot of guards. Now, this is where it gets disgusting. 63 interior, 93 strength. I'm just going to show y'all a clip, and y'all tell me. Y'all tell y'all y'all tell me what y'all think, bro. I'm just, I just kept saying to myself, it makes sense. It makes sense, but it's like, bro, I'm 6'3". So, in this play, chat's person is going to go for a contact nut first meet. Win Mills, right? Who has the ball right now? He's about to go for a contact dunk. Bruh, my 6'3 took this man. That that dude is either 6'7 or 6'8. I'm not sure. And I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I, I was like, bruh, I'm sick. I'm in the I'm in the dead zone too. I'm in like the worst position you can be at uh on the court. Bro, I'm in the dead zone. And I took this man out of it. Should I have took him out of it? No. I should have got dunked on. I'm in the I'm in the dead zone, bro. Like if you're in the dead zone, you can you can dunked on all that. But being the burly, I get the burly body type on this build. 93 strength. This feels like or this is or with this build. Just off seeing this and my interior being so low, and I'm like, does it have anything to do with interior? I feel like it doesn't. I jumped out on my vert isn't that high. It's only a 60, and he he contested this pretty strong. But just off, to me, that's all strength. That's 93 strength right there. That's what that felt like <laughs> on that play. Now, like I said, I feel I shouldn't have got that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cap. I feel I shouldn't have got that. But that's this game. This is 2K25, where it's just so much unexpected shit, randomness, like chaos of animations and what works and what doesn't. That's how this game plays. So, yeah, like I said, that that this is the build that got that stop on a on a big on a big uh forward build. I think he was six seven or six eight. Because Chad, Chad is at the power forward at this time. Most power forwards you see in the rec, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, might be taller. And this build got that stop. To continue, though, uh, I did try to go for like a little two-way. I think I'll have to keep on perimeter up for like a new archetype man to add two-way to it. Which I think it is possible. Because uh, at 85, I will get silver on ball menace. With that, I have the agility already of where it needs to be to get it. I do feel like I could play lock with this build too. That's actually another disgusting thing because he's just he's just a menace. He's just a bully. And I can go into another clip like that as well. So this one, it isn't too much, but I like how quick he felt forced to pick up the basketball. That's me going for a blitz, but like I'm just sticking to him. I'm just like I'm stuck to him. And I always say to myself, like when I'm getting bumped coming up the court playing guard, like to, like defense just feels sticky it's literally like you put your hand in a jar of honey that's how defense feels to me on this game and 
I feel it's more tied. I want to say it's more tied to strength because you can't get moved. Like, I think perimeter. Let's we can let's go read that right now. Actually, you know we can read that right now. It's right here already. The ability to defend the perimeter both on and off the ball, as well as contest shots from outside. So perimeter defense has nothing to do with you like stand with your person. That's strength. That is definitely contact battle right there. Determines who wins a contact battle offensively and defensively. It helps dictate how successful a player will be when backing down or being back down in the post with both with and without the ball. To be honest, I don't even think you would like me. You, you wouldn't even need to put your perimeter up. It feels like, like after seeing that animation, like everything. Uh, this I, I said this is what I was telling to you like because he don't agree with how challenger works he feel like it should be like a or a or badge and the reason being is because you have to press buttons like to get your contest and stuff like that but having high perimeter if you actually pressing buttons you're going to get the crazier animations based off the tier of your badges challenges like that on my menace is just you stand in front of people with certain animations with that of you like negating things off ball pass, we know that immovable enforcer is another one. We we said this last year that immovable enforcer is is what clamps should be. Just me having it go, and if I put it to an eighty nine, I can bro, I can get this, I can get this uh, Hall of Fame, and then plus one it, <laughs> and max plus one if I really wanted legend. But just off that badge, I feel I could. I'm able to defend and like make people pick up the ball. Now, if they if they're a demon and they know what to shoot, that's a different story. I feel all oh, that's going to be open. Uh, I negate many marksmen though because of me being six three. But you still the way the shooting works, the way the contest work, you're still if I don't jump, you're going to have open or or at worst lightly lightly contest or light pressures on this game. So that's why I say I feel like I could play. I legit feel like I could play a lot on this build with what I know and how I play. That 93 strength is more valuable than perimeter defense as a lock. Or just as a defender in general, because strength is all around like post, perimeter, everything defense. Of me, like that clip you saw of me sticking to dude, he felt he he picked up the ball so quick after two, three bumps. He was like, no, I'm not dealing with this. And then he called for a cut. They got a bucket, this, that, and the third. But as an on-ball defender, that's what you want to see. That's what you love to see. Forcing that guard to pick up the ball. That's strength. That's not even perimeter. My perimeter is only 84. And I went with this. Uh, like, when I, like, really think about it, I'm like, I didn't even need to put this shit up. But you got to put you gotta put it up for badges, though. You have, I had to put it up for, like, immovable enforcer gold, which is what helps. Anything tied to strength is what I wanted to put up or had to now another good example is like pig dodger pig dodger has nothing to do with strength that's agility what i want pig dodger like hi of course like they're setting screens i want to get around screens this that and third but i feel it's not that important if i'm already latched on to the to the ball happening that's how strength i'm feeling that's not even like my intention of this build which is the even more crazier part because it this is about strong handle of me getting people off of me and now I'm realizing people can't get me off of them. And it's like, it's just crazy how that works, how the reverse psychology of that is establishing itself with this build. Because now I feel like I need to go for this. I need to put immovable enforcer on legend uh, based off how the strength feels on defense of me guarding ball. And because guards are just, they just can't move me. And I, the reason that I made this build again it's so I don't get moved when I go for my crabs and I'm pulling and I'm pulling like pulling my crab shots, my uh my shots, and which I got a clip for that for y'all as well. Nice. I, I like this. I ain't gonna lie. Like I like this. I like recording what I what I know what it is that I want to talk about. I know I'm gonna record it, like record it later for y'all and just get straight to it. I, I like this. I believe it was this one. Yes, this play coming up. So this one, the blue hair, he's the lock. He's the one pressing up on me right here. Uh, me experimenting with the Steve Francis and seeing him, seeing him me get into my spots. I want to play for this crab off the screen from Jay. The perfect example of this is what he was pressing towards my direction. That's the reason I'm showing this. 
on my other build, I'm getting moved. I'm getting moved like crazy and not going in the direction that I want to. Right here, I feel like I have way more control over my person and what it is that I want to do and me get into my spot. And this is because of strength. The reason I said look at what the, the lock is pressing is because he's trying to go go like towards me. He's going towards my direction. This is the perfect example. He was supposed to jump. I'm already shooting right here. But this is the situation of what I was saying is the difference of not having strength on my other build versus this build having strength. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, this is going to be a contested animation. This is going to be like, it's, it's, it's going to be an uncomfortable shot because of low strength, but now strength, like I'm strong, like I can't get moved. I'm like a, a million times more comfortable shooting these shots on this build. And this is the burly body type at that because most 100% of 2k players, they're not going to try to get a run, especially on this game. And if they got strength on their build, on their build, they're not going to try to like get around a crab or like try to bait you into like going left or right. Some, some, some will. I'm not going to take that away from everybody. But the majority of what I see players do, uh, locks doing, they just want to like, they just want to, they just want to go towards you. They just want to keep left sticking towards you, get you uncomfortable, bump you knowing that that had that they have that huge benefit of just moving little guards but my guard isn't little no more this he's big body he's going to move you is i now i know how kyle Lowry feel man <laughs> i know how he feels so i'm just i'm not i'm not gonna sound surprised the bill works though it works like crazy so the takeovers the new takeovers that i got was bully fortress and 3 and d everything else is pretty much the same that i got on the other build the one that I want to experiment with is Fortress because of the takeover ability. I get this at 6'3", bro. Unleash effective and powerful screens that can catch unsuspecting defenders off guard. Miyagi's big screens, big bodies, knocking them down, bowling, bowling ball. We have the bowling alley, bowling pins, like just, um, that's, I need to see animations like that and that would be content. Oh my God, I need to see it. So I'm working towards getting that unlocked. Um, 3 and D is actually really good. 3nd is really good uh my perimeter is boosted my agility is higher but knowing how speed works i see myself constantly just i'm still just going to use satellite because i get my i can i get my speed to a 93. now for my plus five my cat breakers uh, it already went to three point i'm gonna show y'all it already went to three point it's at 99 the season two level 40 cat breaker went to ball handle for steve francis at vet two I'm kind of torn. I want to put it at put one at perimeter for uh for silver on ball menace. I can't put it on strength no more. And the rest, I kind of want to put like at my speed. I've been thinking about putting it at speed for sure. That's that's the one. Now I'm just gonna like of course I'm experiment and see what I, what I get everywhere else. Like I'm looking at pass accuracy, ball handle. Uh, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of badges I get at ball handle that aren't like i can get i can get 96 so this goes to 97 that's 63 ball handle your ball your ball handle rate only goes to a 97 that's the max potential cap break the cap for it so i can get uh hall of fame unpluckable the strong handles already maxed out uh handles for days i can get that legend ankle assassin i can get that hall of fame so it's like it's a lot that I, it's a lot that i can play with uh, with these cat breakers going into vet two i'm about soon i should get vet one i'm at i'm almost about to hit 80 percent and start a five so soon i will get it so this is the build screenshot do whatever you got to do it's the same name as the first build i think if i keep putting up the perimeter defense it will add two ways to it and i'll give it a different name on the name uh which might be my intention i wonder if it tells me that i will get a new name before i uh before i apply the cat breaker because i might that might change my perspective of having a new name at a guard build that can do what other guards can do, but it'll throw them off having a different name. Of course, I wanted to show y'all uh, like the different, like the bash progression and every, everything that I'm at with, where I'm at currently with it. Legend is already, I mean, Limitless is already Legend, of course. We badge elevate that. Hope y'all save y'all badge elevators, man. I shouldn't have to make no more videos on that, although I don't mind. I don't mind because that's the one y'all show the most love on. But I don't think it's really nothing else for me to say about badge elevators. It shouldn't because I think we all get the gist of it. it. It's way smart. It's ten times smarter if you like if you save your badge. You save it. Save it, bro. Uh your badge elevators.
I can't do nothing like with none of these. Yeah. So uh, the max plus one is interceptor. This is what I was saying with the with the defensive uh, stats of animations. Badges unlock new animations for your person. That's what it is. It's no longer or a thing. It's no longer like oh I'm there. I should get that contest. Oh I should be catching the basketball. I have I have Hall of Fame interceptor. Although I do agree with that interceptor part of what I be hearing people saying, that's just not the case. That's not the description of the badge. That's just not that's just not how it's going to work. Uh, so I did it with interceptor because I do get better animations. Doesn't mean I'm gonna catch it every time. Having gold interceptor feels like I still have the 85 still on my first build, which is gold interceptor. So I saved 12 points of attributes on that to put elsewhere. Uh, the second one, the tier two was Dimer. Dimer is Dimer. Uh, it is, it is some other ones that I know I can experiment with. Like one that would be super annoying would probably be off ball pass. Off ball pass would be OD annoying on this build. Like you already, to me the aura, the aura in this game is based off the burly body type and your strength. That's what that's based off of. Uh, just off the other contact that you saw my dude take that that forward out on like i'm like bro that's or that's strength straight strength off ball, off ball pass you just be super annoying and people can't get the cuts on you can't get past you i feel gold is pretty decent for what it is i can't get it hall of fame like i said um the trey young layups i'll be i'll be doing euros i'm back on that i had switched my layup timing back and that this build this is more of a complete all-round build i feel now my last one i do have contact dunks on it which i was having i'm having fun with that but being able to have this strength and play <laughs> i'm able to play on this build 25 feels it feels better it feels better having a high strength build like this at guard and it's weird because it's never been like this i'm a legacy 2k player i've been playing 2k since the beginning the very first one this is my first time ever experimenting with something like this or seeing something like this to this degree. It shows the direction that they're going in. I'm, I'm gonna play 2K regardless, no matter what. So like, all right, it's the love of the game, love for basketball, no matter what it is. But it is a big favoritism to casuals. And I'm not gonna, I can't sugarcoat that because it is what it is. The fact that we're having close games with people with builds like this because they can just move you and stuff like that. And you can have the you can you can match it like with a high strength build <laughs> that's your lot. It doesn't it doesn't favor defense on this game at all. But you can tell the difference if it's a build on offense that doesn't have strength. That's where it's like, oh, like I can just move them. That's how I was feeling on my last card. So I don't think there's really anything else for me to show. Like my animations is pretty much the same. I don't really unlock anything new. The newest one for me is that my layup is higher. Cause it's at 80 i get the trey young pretty sure a lot of y'all know about that uh like i said the biggest goal is this bad strong handle i want that that's the badge that i want legend shout out to kevin cruz i watched his video on it that he posted i believe a month ago about it and it works strong handle is the most underrated badge in my opinion of getting people off you uh knowing what moves to do in that situation once they're on your hip and this is how you put to me this is the best this is gonna sound so stupid and it is it's just dumb this is how you protect the basketball this is the best way to protect the basketball is just left sticking into people because you're just gonna move it's not unpluckable it's not it's not l2 you still can lose the ball holding l2 me left sticking into people i feel way safer protecting the basketball and that's because of this badge and it goes to legend so that's where we at, man, with 2K. So that's where it is. So um, y'all saw the clips. Y'all saw it. I'm going to uh, get some gameplays going pretty soon. Just uploading like the full game. Seeing seeing how y'all feel about the full games. Because those that are new, I, I used to upload like full games like crazy. That's where you like see like my sub count and stuff like that. Um, if you go back into my older videos, my older archives, like, like 2K18 to 19, like, it was full gameplays that people actually enjoyed, but it was comp play, I will say that. Uh, Fish were like real good games, and like a really good gameplay, of course. Like it goes to the two for sure. But uh, we'll go back, we'll go back, because I, I stream down there every time I play 2K. So definitely check out check out the Twitch stream. All, all my socials is Kane Dooms. Everything is the same. 
definitely check me out on, on Switch. That's why I be that's why I go live for the most part. Uh, that's really it for the video, bro. If you like this build, if you want. You, you, you tweak it to your liking. This is just to my liking. 6-3 for mini marksman. Uh, still the speed. You get the takeovers you get. I say focus more on speed because you can play lock with this build. Have an immovable enforcer. Work your way to get immovable enforcer. Legend. Max plus max plus one in it. Once you get the cat breaker to Hall of Fame. And you'll low key be just an annoying, fast, big body lock. You'll be like Carl Lari if he went Super Saiyan pretty much. So, uh, y'all saw the subscribe in the beginning of the video. If you made it this far, definitely subscribe. Show love to the channel. Drop a like for the algorithm. And those, I'm out, y'all. Peace.